What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel for an all new product review. The other day here on the channel in the community section, I put up a poll asking you guys which review I should start first for this week. And you guys answered, you guys made your choice and just like Pizza Hut, I'm here to deliver. This is my review of the Boost Tonic and Styling Cream from Stickmore. All right, so today we are talking about the new styling cream and boost tonic from the fellas over there at Stickmore. A lot of you I know have been waiting on this for a little bit now, so I'm happy to finally be talking about it today. I have had a chance to really use these quite a bit. I was actually a tester as well for them prior to the launch, so I think I do have a pretty well-rounded understanding of these products, and I think that's definitely going to help me give you guys a full and accurate description of both the products and obviously my thoughts on them as well. Now for starters, I have seen quite a few questions regarding these on other reviews and I am going to try and answer those while presenting my thoughts. And for starters, here's one question that I saw a lot for some reason. I saw it everywhere. What's the difference between the Boost Tonic and the 25 spray from the Salon Guy? And if I'm being honest, every time I saw that question, I kind of gave it the old squinty side eye here because the differences should be super obvious. You know, it should be pretty obvious, but then again, you know, they're asking it so much, it must not be as obvious as it is in my brain, but the 25 spray, it has no hold. Boost tonic, it has hold. That really is the simplest term differences there. That's putting it in the simplest terms possible. One has hold, the other one doesn't. As far as comparisons or anything like that on the styling cream, I won't be going into that because it's pointless. My goal is not to just list out how things may seem comparable to something else and, oh, this has hold kind of like this and it's white just like that. God, that's just stupid and pointless. My goal is not to tell you how it may seem like something else. My goal is to tell you what is special, interesting, and specific about this product and we're starting right now. According to the brand, the Stickmore Styling Cream is a water-soluble high hold and matte finish cream and it's described by them to be used as both a pre or post styler with heat protection for those that think they need it. And also, I'm quoting the brand here, it provides insane volume. This product also comes in a four ounce jar and sells for $22.97 US. Looking inside the jar here on this one, we have a nice and what I'd call a typical cream. It's creamy, it's soft, but it's not lotion-like, which is good in my opinion. For a while there, everything was lotion-like. Did anyone else notice that? Everything was lotion-like. This here though has a nice bit of thickness to it while still being soft, creamy, and slick. When you break it down too, you get a nice but balanced feeling of dry, tack, and slickness. Let's bounce over to the Boost Tonic now real quick. And like I said, this is different because it offers hold over just the standard tonic that usually just makes the hair soft. The brand describes this as a silicone, alcohol, paraben, and worry free pre-styler with built-in heat protection that will give your hair an extra kick and volume and hold. For size and price, it actually comes in a very good size in my opinion, a 9.52 ounce bottle and sells for $24.97 US. Now let's get a closer look at this here. It's recommended that you only use about a nickel size amount at a time, but to show you as best I can the actual substance here, I'm pouring out a bit more and really it's a bit watery. It's not too oily. It's very, you know, it feels a little bit like sticky water. And the way you get that bit of tack to emerge is just to kind of move it through your hands and, and kind of emulsify it in your palms. It really starts to come out. It's not too bad. It gives you kind of an idea of how it's going to perform. Now, before we jump into the demos here, let me just explain real quick how I decided to do this. I decided the best way to give you guys a look at these was to give you a look at the tonic by itself, then paired with the cream, and then the cream by itself as well. The reason I did that was to give you guys a full look at each of these as individuals. And then as we will talk about in the end, there was one that I preferred alone by itself over the other. So that's why I decided to give you a look at it by itself. Let's first talk about the tonic. And like I said, the recommended usage is a nickel size amount into damp hair before blow drying. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm working it in all the way and as evenly as possible. And then I'm just going to blast it with some heat and I am going to fast forward here just so we can get to the point. And when I do that, 
here's what we end up with. Obviously, we got a decent shape, so it's holding somewhat, but to be honest, what I notice here is a lot of dryness. I really was not expecting it to be as dry as it is. The hold, though, truth be told, is somewhat light, but after reading the stick more side, this actually does make more sense. Look here at this. It says here that it gives you a boost and an extra kick, but if you read further down, it says it doesn't provide much hold on its own. This is definitely what I'm seeing here. For sure, the dryness is higher than the actual hold, and, and if I'm being honest, I do think the volume is a bit low as well. We will kind of debate and discuss this later though, because right now I'm going to add in a bit of the styling cream as a post styler, because that's also recommended. And as I added in, the dryness is there from both the tonic and the cream, but it's really not too bad. It's not tugging and pulling. There's definitely drier things out there, but again, the volume is not as present as I know it can be. But I do think the shape and overall style is actually pretty good here in the end. Now let's fast forward about six hours here and check in on this style. And what we see here is some of it has lifted. That dryness is pretty much gone as well. And I do think the air is pretty much let out of the style. I mean, this is classic deflation here, but I think it's fair to say that some of the hold has remained and can still be put to use. Now though, let's set this aside for just a minute and talk about the styling cream. And this one, according to the Stickmore site, can be used as both a pre and post styler. But because we are pressed for time, I decided to demo the method that I like the best and that's post styling. Real quick though, I do think that pre-styling with this one works, but I think post-styling works a bit better. In pre-styling, I didn't get as much results with it, and as you're about to see, there are some really nice results to get here. I just needed to use it in the way that got those results, if that makes any sense. It just needs to be used in the way to get the nice results. Here we got freshly cleaned and blow dried hair, this time with nothing in it. No tonic, no pre-styler, nothing like that. And I'm gonna be using two scoops here of the styling cream. And notice how the product totally absorbs the volume as I apply it. It totally embraces it and then gives it a leg up. It holds it super well without reducing any of it. It is dry, but it's not too dry in my opinion. It's still nice and slick, but I did need a wide tooth comb because a fine tooth comb did have a lot of resistance, but it did work just fine and molded the style extremely well. And as you can see, that volume is huge. I mean, it's actually kind of a bit too much. I'm full on unicorn at this point. So I am going to tone it down a little bit, but even doing that, you can see it's super easy. This stuff is very responsive to styling. And here's the final style. I gotta say, I'm immensely impressed. Moving right into endurance here, this is four hours in, and I think there's very little change, to be honest. The hold is going strong, the volume is right where I want it. I'm just really happy with the results here. At eight hours in, I think we have deflated a bit. It is eight hours though, so all things considering, I still think the results are strong. Looking closer, we do still have a lot of hold present in the formula and with just some finger combing, I can still see it's responding really well. And after eight hours, I think that's really awesome. Now for the washout here, I'm going to comment mostly on the styling cream since both demos technically ended with the cream. And for me, there was a lot taken out uh, with just water, with just a water rinse, but shampoo was needed to remove everything. And second day offering, that the, the site discusses also because the site discusses the fact that you're going to need shampoo to fully wash it out, but it also highlights the benefits of second day styling. And I think that is definitely here. It's not as strong, of course, as what you had first day styling, but for me, it was still really easy. All it took was one extra scoop and I was good for the next day. Now, as far as the scent goes, we got two to look at here. The styling cream is what they call the Stickmore original scent, which I love. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I've seen a lot of you say that it smells just like salvage from Dior, but Stickmore, I think they, I think they said to me once on Facebook that it's not salvage, but, and I think that's technically true. I don't think they're actually like buying salvage from Dior and putting it in the product. That would be immensely expensive probably, but it does smell exactly like salvage. I mean, let's just be real here. It smells exactly like it. The tonic scent though, here, let's switch over to this. This is new. It's called Stickmore 1950s, I think. And I have to say, I like the other one better. I mean, it's hard to top that because it's such a great scent. This one is not horrible. To me, it's got kind of a, it does have a strong barbershop scent portion to it. I'm not sure if it's like a hundred percent barbershop scent, uh, but I mean, there's barbershop in it at the very least. And as we've talked about in the past, barbershop is not my favorite scent. It, it's just, ugh, it's almost 
It's just not my favorite scent. Let's just leave it at that. It's not though extremely strong. I, when I actually add in the tonic, I don't smell it in my hair very much at all. And if I post style with the styling cream, for example, it completely covers it and then you get the good scent. So for me, that, that worked out very nicely. Now I know we are running low on time. So let's talk final thoughts here real quick. I have to say, I love this styling cream. It's got just the right amount of dryness, stickiness, slickness. It's it's well balanced. It holds up all day and it's it, the volume. It's just fantastic. I love it. I'm telling you, this product is just really well made. That's not hype. That's just based on my experience. I just thought it was really well done. The tonic, I would have to say it's decent for me. It is getting a lot of interest and attention right now. And I think that's great. I do think it's also very cool that they were able to get hold out of it at all. All, but as we saw in the demo and in the endurance, the volume was not as good as just using the styling cream by itself. For me, it kind of weighed it down and made my hair feel kind of dry. And that's not something I remember from the testers. Now, again, regarding comparisons, you know, I freaking hate comparisons. They are such a waste of time. But I see people already asking how this compares to everything under the sun. And let me just break it down here real quick. Tonics like Templeton, Third & Co, tonics that are strictly, uh, strictly a collection I can't talk today tonics that are strictly a collection of oils are not comparable because the boost tonic here provides hold like I already said it provides hold that completely makes it different just based on that one attribute and as I've presented here in this video this one also did not make my hair as soft as other tonics other ones that we've talked about in the past or other tonics that we know that do that that know that make your hair nice soft and full of nourishment things like that there are others though I you know just so you comparison guys don't blow up there are ones like texture tonic from Damon Barber or the Rusal orange for example I will say the texture tonic for me has about the same amount of hold maybe a tad bit more it's hard to tell a little bit there but I think the big difference is there is that texture tonic has more volume and texture that's that that makes it completely different for me the Rusal orange I think has a bit less of everything if I'm being honest I'd actually rate the boost tonic better than the Rusal orange if I had to offer an opinion on that but I do think that's pretty much everything we got time for today so if you'd like to check these out or the rest of the stick more line a link and a coupon code will be in the description there that'll help you save a little money on your next order if you're interested in checking any of these out. If you did enjoy this review, do me a favor and tap that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you do that. That's very important. And as always, I want to thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.